know I've been crying for those in Salem. I've been telling you about the seasons from last year, the seasons that are to come, what we're going to experience this year, how it will intensify from April, and how we're going to begin to see malice and contentions and cursing. And for those who are current, you know that Iran currently, you know, I think some days ago, two days ago or something, declared yesterday declared war on Israel been launching rockets there and it seems as though the nations are already at the brink of third world war but she do not be troubled we are going to experience a brief peace like I told you I was brooding upon these words you see if you go to October when last year I was live on my page and I was telling you that America has gotten the patients drunk with wine. You know, they, they released some money to um, Iran, about $6 billion or something. And I was telling you, I said, Babylon has poured a drink offering, a wine upon the patients. He has gotten them drunk with the $6 billion they released to them. And in that stupor, the patients, which is the Iranians, are carrying out an invasion. I looked in the spirit and I saw this siege. It was going six months, seven months. You know, it's as though it tipped and it, and it started going underground and it tipped again until the ships, I told you people I saw, the ships of the Germans started coming to the sea and people started coming to the sea. Oh, Holy Ghost. Uh, Jerusalem will not fall but there's about to be a trying time that the world is about to go through those who followed one of the prophetic word from six months or seven months ago remember I told you about the word of the Lord that the economy of the world is about to fall so bad that men will be sent back into the stone age we're at a tipping point already. Every Christian out there should begin to pray for Israel and begin to prepare for the coming of Messiah. Now, the day or the time he may come, I don't know. But I will tell you that for Africa, like I said by the word of the Lord, they're about to take your lands. I told you by the word of the Lord. I said they're about to arm Africans to fight themselves. And this will get their lands taken from them. I said this long ago before the whole coup thing started by the word of the Lord. And I said, let the leaders of Africa guard your land. Because you're about to be armed so that you will lose your... As far as I think eight months ago by the word of the Lord, this was brought to me. And I saw the invasion that was going to happen in Africa coming to the south. And it seems as though the south has aligned itself with these two kings. The south of Africa has aligned itself with China and has aligned itself with Russia. Now we need to begin to pray. Because the black army or the slave army would be dragged by cunningness into something that they do not know about. And if we don't pray hard, sadly, by this cunningness, they themselves would be plundered. There's a new era of colonialism that's about to come. And the Lord showed me that it's an intelligent colonialism. I saw flags being raised. And it's this colonialism that will push for the United States of Africa. Because when Africa starts getting plundered, and then in their countries and their nations, this intelligent colonialism that will happen by empowering the Africans to fight each other, what we see now as coup and civil war and coup, civil unrest and military takeover there, military... 
Africans are being empowered to fight against each other. And when they do that, according to the word of the Lord, I said to you many, many months ago, when they do that, these kings, these foreign kings will come and establish a throne in their lands. And in the days of the rebellion, it is, I saw a United States of Africa being created. And by the word of the Lord, I saw it will start with three country, countries. I saw their armies dressed on black and red hat. They are caps with like red and this red hat, you see. And it was a united African state. And they were known as provinces that had rulers upon them. You see, the world is already being apportioned. The kings of the earth are about to make their moves. We, sh we must pray. You see, I'm trying to be careful what I put out there so that you don't misunderstand what I'm saying. When it comes to Israel, we must, we must rise up to pray. And we must be very sensitive. Because whenever the shofar of Israel sounds, whenever it gives out its war cry, it means something is about to be fulfilled. All these things that are happening is about to kick up the great economic war. This war you see in Israel is just beyond the lives that you are seeing being killed. Sadly, sadly. What is happening is about to kick up the great economic war. And this is going to lead to the launch of the Apollo K virus that I saw. The zombie virus. The Apollo K virus. Marusaki Bana. Pray and be vigilant. The only healing that the Lord is going to give us is going to be six months. And that six months from June next year, there's going to be rest. And then there's going to be healing leaves given to the nation. To the nations. You see. So, but a great economic war is about to kick up. And those who are not strong are going to be implicated. Remember, I told you that this year was going to be a year of siege. And the grasshopper was going to cause siege. And I told you last year and early in January that this siege was going to see nations take their embassies from places. Nations encamp around nations. Encamp the Persians, and I call them the Iranians, will soon launch an attack on Israel. And it will be as though Jerusalem should fall. And I told you that very soon the ships of the Germans will begin to fly the high seas i heard the americans have started releasing their ships already and everyone is trying to prepare but see the war is not yet all these things are signs to prepare you for the year of dominion you know the type of our prophecy is not popular <sighs> there are dimensions of word of knowledge we have but the lord chose not to take us to that road for months to give us something for years to give us something excellent in April, you are going to, it's already happening, the things I say, you are going to see the markets begin to crash because apart from being, from it being a territorial war, it's also going to be an economic war. Your stocks are going to begin to fall left, right, and center. But do not trouble. From June, when we enter into the year of healing, which is actually the real 2024, because we are still in the season of 2023. In fact, it's around May 2023, is actually coming to an end. Although we're in the calendar year, 2024 but in the spirit in reality we are still in the season of 2023 now 2024 is going to last for six months and for those who qualify what the lord told me was that they are going to receive healing and recovery you are going to see so much recovery for all you've lost but don't be distracted by the recovery because it's to prepare you for the year of 2025 which is the year of dominion and i told you that 2025 is going to last for three and a half years so you are going to see 2026, 2027, 2028, although the calendars are changing, it's going to be one year season, spanning through. Because, you know, God gives us prophetic word as a strategy of warfare. It's not to show that Prophet Joel is accurate in the prophetic. When we say this thing, people mock us. They insult us. When they come to pass, they keep quiet about it. But these things are to prepare us because many people are going to be killed while they don't know how to fight. What you are going to soon see is that many people will become stranded travelers. 
They will go to nations and they will not be able to use the airspace because from the vision God showed me, we're about to see a massive attack of the airspace where people would no longer, you would be in this country and you would not be able to get back. You will, and it's going to be something that is going to be somewhat global because these nations will be divided among themselves and you cannot cross from here into this place. You are going to see it happen. These signs are coming. They are already arming Africans, like I told you last year by the word of the Lord, to fight a war that is not theirs. And the aim of this thing is for African men to lose their land. And they are already arming them. The three nations that I told you that would be the first fruit of the United States of Africa that the Lord showed me. And they were going to have a common army who wear red berets and, you know, and black and their red boots is already forming gradually. You see, the transformation is happening before your eyes, if you can see it. The Gentiles will downplay these things. Oh, this is just one of the things that happen. But they are following the prophetic timeline. We're about to enter into June and then the recovery will begin. But don't be carried away because once December ends, according to what the Lord told me, it's going to be a sudden shift. The, you will see from green pasture immediately to wilderness. And that is when nations will begin to encroach nations. You see, we always tell you this thing in Salem ahead of time. So that you won't say, okay, we are talking because of the season. I think the media will play later this evening when we start this Iran thing now from last year. These things are shaping us to bring the church to a place. The, God, the Lord told me that it's going to be the place of the great reconciliation where everybody will drop their tie to and begin to pray again together. If we do not enter into that great reconciliation when not just our hands we join but our heart we join, we would be swallowed up with what we swallow Babylon. I was together. So in that video, I, I, I told you, I said, pray for Israel. Israel is the Lord's chauffeur. Pray for Israel. And I'm telling you again, Africans, pray for your lands. Your lands are about to be taken by foreign powers. Oh, they will arm you. They, oh, you will, they will arm Africans. And this thing that started as a nation of three, it will expand. It will now enter into nations of 18. And these places that you call countries will become provinces. You will see it come to pass. Provinces ruled by captains. You see? So let's pray. Store food. I, I've been crying now for years. Go, go and farm. Buy land and farm somewhere. Store food. Many of my brethren, we've been storing food. Store food. Store grain. For Nigeria, check your movement because, like I told you, there are going to be siege among states. Where you will be in Abuja and your people are in Makodi, but you can't travel to go and meet them. Neither can they come and meet you. You see, the prophet just said something, eyes are coming. And Papa said, light is coming. You know when I was brooding upon what would be the theme of our anniversary, it, what came to my mind was that I may see. It's not your religion that will protect you this season. It's the light that is within you to cover you. What we are talking about, beloved brethren, as we close, is beyond our suit that we're wearing here. Because God will tell me to tell my children not to go to school. I don't know whether your God will tell you. And it is gathering. So as you are seeing this war happening, don't be frightened yet. As it rises, it, it, it will shake a little, but the healing will come. But it's going to last for the six months. Before the encroachment of nations actually begins. So don't cause the air. Remember I told you that what will qualify us for the year of recovery, the year of restoration or healing, is our reaction towards what is going to happen. And I told you that April, it will heighten. In April now, you will see everything. Both nations dragging among themselves. People accusing men of God. You know, you, you will begin to see all these things. But do not be carried away by these things happening. One thing I can tell you from this prophetic house that the Lord has sent me as priest over is that the prophetic for a Christian first gives you an advantage of knowledge. But what you do with the knowledge is dependent on you. It's okay to despise prophecy. At the end of the day, the righteous shall live by his faith. By what I've received from the Lord, I will instruct my family and my captains. But what will you do with the word of the Lord? So prepare for the year of recovery. When June starts, and then most of you, casual things begin to give you more time millions and billions. And then 
Our old partners begin to remember you and doors begin to open. Don't waste it. Don't waste it. Don't think that, oh, this will remain forever. I thought they said the nations want to go to war. When the year started, I thought everything is going to fall apart. But we are all living fine now. Don't be carried away. If not, the year of dominion will come like a thief in the night. And before your eyes is awakened from the bed, your nation will belong to another man. We are not saying these things to put fear in your heart. I have highly respected prophets here among my brethren and my elders. And these things I'm not just saying it now as a reaction to what is happening. We've been saying this. In fact, by the word of the Lord, my brother Michael stand up. He flew in from Canada just to bring the word of the Lord. This, now, this is the kind of people God is going to move in with. He's our point man in Canada. He, he just flew in from Canada. He said, the Lord brought, say, I should come and deliver messages. Yet he's spending money to fly from another country. We're about to move in that dimension where people, by the word of the Lord, you will just leave your office and then the next place will find you is Zamfara. Say amen. Yeah. Oh. By the word of the Lord. When in the year of dominion, God will say, buy food, buy everything. Begin to go to social house. May we have eyes. So now, what will the spiritual man sense? There's going to be a yearning this season. There is a hunger in my soul. And it's to see the glory of God will give you wealth. But you will put it aside. And you say, Lord, your presence. Your palaces and your beautiful homes, you will become tired of. Light. Don't forget this word. There's something that's about to happen in Ethiopia. In Senegal. And in Libya. Pray for these three nations. You will soon see it on your news. And then the sign I told you in India is very close. Where houses will, will collapse. These things are already marked in the spirit. When you see those signs, remember these words I'm telling you. If you cannot, if you are not prepared, you may not be able to survive the year of dominion. These words we are saying now, we are receiving it in peace. And we are saying the things we are hearing are far from us. How will that come to our borders? May we not be awakened too late. Hey. See what we call your glory now. I almost see now. See what we call your presence now. 